What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dr. Drag Kick and today we're going to be opening up a Legends Booster Pack from 1994 but we're also going to be opening up um, a newer pack from the Ultimate Masters set. Now I'm trying to complete a set here and uh, in order to do that I just like to get into cracking. So um, with this set there's a uh, box topper and there's plenty of uh, other good cards, foils and that sort of thing in there. But we're hoping to get um, we get something pretty amazing here. <clears throat> uh, in the next coming months, I'm going to be doing a little bit of travel to finish recording some of uh, some better openings. I guess you'd say Alpha, Beta, Unlimited, and Revised. Uh, those are coming down the line, and I'll probably include some of these Ultimate Masters because um, I'm going to take my time with this. So. Um, yeah, and just for for the information, the Legends pack I'm going to be opening, that is uh, was recorded a little while ago, and so um, I will attach that to the end here. But let's get into this Ultimate Masters. I'll open up a couple of these right here. Mm, Ultimate Masters, the good stuff. You got a zombie token. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Moan of the Unhallowed. Okay, foil. That's a, that's a very scary one. Okay, for the rare, we got it. Squee, the goblin, and the bob. He's 1 1. For 3 mana, at the beginning of your upkeep, you may return Squee from the graveyard to your hand. It's not bad, so he keeps on coming back. Brawn, for the uncommons. Living lore. That's actually not a bad, um, that's not a bad card, living lore. And then the young pyromancer. Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything other good. Ronin unicorn. I love those unicorns. All right. Uh, let's get into this next one here. We'll do three of these tonight. Why not? And okay. elemental. I just think this artwork is very cool for a token. You have this big thing and these to the side right here. You have these. Things looking like what's going on there? Four, four. Okay, here we go. We have a Nightbird clutches. Nightbird, she clutched this person and taking them away. Horrible. And then for the rare, Raging Ravine. Okay, and there's Battlefield Tap. It's a red or green. And then for the Mana Ramp, you can turn into a 3 3 elemental creature. Now, hit for the Uncommons, Unstable Mutation. Oldie but goodie. Reviving Vapors. Chainer's Edict. Chainer's Edict. Um, player sacrifices a creature. Okay, Hyena. A couple other things. Conviction. Okay. Um, we'll save the box up for a pretty pristine location. So I'm going to go over to California and Denver and uh, I'll be bringing a bunch of things. Probably hit up some trails, get some more scenery. I know this one's at home, but I'm trying to make my videos uh, out in places but hopefully everyone's been able to go outside and if you can get the vaccine you got the vaccine here we go okay walker of the grove um it was interesting i don't think i pulled this in any of my box in my entire case before walker of the grove for eight mana when it leaves the battlefield create a 4-4 elemental token so that must be where the other one comes into play there you go, 4-4 four, four elemental token. Okay, and then for the rare, Celestial Colonnade, not a bad one. Again, has a mana ramp, 4-4 four, four white blue elemental for later in the game or white or blue mana. So that's good, Dreamscape Artist. That's kind of a cool artwork there. Prep preparations, Rain, River Prowler, okay. Now, uh, after this, I'm just gonna um, slap on my Legends booster to the end of this. Uh, there will be more to come, like I said, but uh, thanks for watching so far. So I'm gonna be opening up this booster pack, and um, this is one of those ones where, if you look at the top here, it's sealed. Um, this is from my box, so I know that it's fresh personally. However, I feel like if I were to sell it and somebody looked at this, um, and they see there's like a crimped line over here they might have an issue for it um so a lot of times when this happens and it happens probably eight or nine of, of 
box. I'll just go ahead and open it myself. And, um, you know, because I just don't want to deal with somebody accusing me of something. So, I don't know what's in here, but let's see. Okay, the Glyph of Delusion. We have a Remove Enchantments. Cyclopean Mummy. Okay. We actually just pulled something very similar at the Capitol. Tundra was. I'm trying to think what, what did I put in after that. Um, should be getting another couple glyphs after this Cobra. Hornet Cobra. Nope. Subdue. We'll go to a different place. We didn't get this one. Someone's trying to stab that. Wombat, demon, Tasmanian devil thing, but I can't. Um, Hellswarm. Nice Chris Rush piece. Cool. Horse Spike. I did get that one. Horse Spike. Because I made the explosion. Uh, oh yeah, Glyph of Doom, and right after this should be the Glyph of Life. If, um, if that's right. No, it's not right. Giant slug. I was gonna say I mapped out the comments back pretty well here. Um, okay. Clergy of the Holy Nimbus. A moldy but goodie. Alright. I'm feeling the force of a Caracas about to happen here. Evil eye of Orm Spygore. Yes, for my first. None of your creatures can attack except the evil eye. Evil eye can only be blocked by walls. 36, 5 mana. Okay. The Beast of Bow Garden. Alright. And. Burberg. You are Borg. I think I pulled maybe six or seven of these in the box easily already. And for the rare. Ooh, okay, Land's Edge. So I knew that this um, sheet, or this stack, went in a certain way, but I did not know where. And if I'm not mistaken, this is near the Invoked Prejudice. And um, anyhow, for three mana, one and two red, any player may discard a card from hand at any time. If that player discards a land, land edge does two damage to target player of the discarded discarding player's choice. So you would put this down, and then you would get a bunch of lands in your hand, and then sacrifice them to do a lot of damage. Um, I think this is about a thirty to fifty dollar card. I could be mistaken. I am a red collector, and I actually do not own this, so. This one will just go into my set. I'm um, not so worried about the price. Uh, condition, card stock. You can see there's a little weak card stock right there, but um, it's cool. Always good to know or to own a new card. So thanks for watching and take good care.